What's going on everyone? Today we're just going to be uh, talking through a quick trick using Super Bloom and specifically we are looking at how to use Super Bloom to separate out different parts of an image if you want different glow settings on different parts of your image. So today I'm going to be using the Super Bloom plugin in Photopea but you can do the exact same thing with the Super Bloom web app or the Super Bloom desktop app. It's just going to take a little longer if you want to export your images and have to re-import them into Super Bloom and export them back out and re-import them into your photo editor. But it's not too hard either way. Um, and I'm just going to be using Photopea to save a little bit of time here. So let's say for this image, I want to add um, some bloom to the to the environment, the atmosphere in the background of this image. So I want to make this this blue sky kind of glow, have some bloom wrapping over our subject here. Now, if I open Super Bloom, my first in instinct would be to drop the threshold down until I see bloom on that sky. But when I drop my bloom down, when I drop my threshold down enough, you see that the rest of the image also blooms, and that is not what I want. So what I'll do instead is create a new black color fill layer. Just invert the mask and draw over the places where I don't want any bloom. So in that case, that means drawing over basically the whole subject here. So I'll just take my soft round white brush and draw over my subject. And if you hold Alt and click the mask, you can easily see what parts you might have missed. Just go over that real quick. But really, once the uh, once the parts you want to hide look dark enough, um, Super Bloom will ignore them anyway. So they don't have to be perfectly black. Alright, so now when I open Super Bloom and I drop the threshold down far enough, you'll see that there is no glow over the subject. And if I switch my preview to glow only, that's what the glow would look like when I export it out. So I'll add it to the document, then I will hide my black layer, and you see how, how the glow nicely wraps around our subject here but none of the subject is glowing. Now let's say I want to add an extra glow layer uh, to this little sparkle right here. Uh, what I'll do is create another black color fill layer and instead of inverting the mask I'm just gonna drop the fill to 50% that's just to see what I'm doing here and I'll use a black soft round brush this time and paint over the area that I want to glow. So I'll just paint pretty roughly over this sparkle. Then set the fill of this color fill layer back to 100%. Open, open Super Bloom again. I'll change the preview mode to glow only so it's easier to see what I'm doing. And then I can maybe um, colorize this, drop the saturation a little bit, maybe shift the hue a little to the right, and add it to document. 
And now if I delete this black color fill layer, you'll see that I have a separate glow on the sparkle and on the background image. So that's basically all for today. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that helps. Um, feel free to ask any questions in the comments on the Discord server, wherever. Um, and I hope you have a great day. I'll see you next time.